From the outer limits of Austin, which may or may not be the open carry ketamine capital of the Southwest, it's going to be a great night. Now, get your business pitches together and get really hammered, because here are your hosts, Brian Brushwood and Justin Robert Young! Oh, Who is this doing this synthetic type of alpha beta psychedelic pumpkin? Oh, shit! Uh, in a K hole, oh, baby. Uh, I'm I in not, a K hole. I, I, I did not know you were a fan of the Chemical Brothers. I love the Chemical Brothers. <laughs> I love them. Oh wait, no, for real? You didn't know? No, I didn't know. Yeah, man. Dude. I was like one of my one of my uh, uh, like probably the first ten albums I ever bought. Did, uh, did 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 you do like their whole discography or or was there just one or two? Because uh, they had that Block Rock and Beats is, that is the one. Yeah, that album was really that one. That and the Crystal Method. That was like that was oh, really Crystal was, Make it Method Vegas is, was my jam. That was like my my foray into techno, and I was like, "This is cool." And you're then like, I never really listened to it again. You're like, "I'm in and I'm out." <laughs> uh, look, I enjoyed my time. I enjoyed my time. Uh, so uh, just before we hit record, yeah. I, I was very confused because something happened that never happens. Uh, I hear Jomo playing his guitar over there with jaunty little jam yeah and i'm like uh uh well that's curious and i look over and it's not jomo no it's Corey with jomo's fucking guitar yeah playing a jaunty jam for jomo while jomo wears a polite mask on his yeah. face because <laughs> <laughs> it would be like walking up to a policeman <laughs> taking his service weapon and just being like oh i know gun tricks and then just doing like a like a fun little uh, uh flipperoo and it was it, it was He's a professional musician <laughs> he tours the country it was it was with his sidearm. I instantly was teleported to 20 years ago yeah. when uh I did my first national showcase at uh, uh NACA the college uh, booking agency thing whatever. Uh and uh it was me and I emceed and I introduced recycled percussion who later would go on to I believe win America's Got Talent or do very well. They had a show on the Vegas Strip. It was all like, you know, uh, hitting on drums and stuff. Sure. It's like, yeah. it's like, uh, stop. Never heard of them. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But, but well, like, uh, we'll, 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 we'll drum anything. Uh, right. Right. Like, oh, like, like, what's that? An old TV tray? <laughs> like, don't forget to recycle. Exactly. Is yeah. that a corpse? <laughs> so uh so we're hanging out after the showcase and you know that loose energy after you know you did yeah. a very important everyone, show right releasing yeah exactly and so and so the lead of recycle percussion uh uh said he's so excited he's like oh my god oh my god i gotta uh, give you, uh, this deck of cards can i can i show you a trick and uh, and 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 we're in both CJ and I, uh, you know CJ yep, Johnson. Yep, yep, uh, yeah, yep. We're like, yeah, go ahead, go ahead. And uh, and he spreads the cards, and he and he does the thing, and he has a card selected. Eventually, eventually finds it or whatever. And he's like, he's like, eh. And one of the funniest moments of my entire life, uh, with all seriousness, CJ nods sagely, walks over, grabs two empty beer bottles. It starts just really shittily. <laughs> 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 Did he laugh? I won't die. I blacked out at that point. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it, was too, it was too perfect. That's uh, fucking amazing. Uh, uh, two weeks. Two weeks. Since we did a show, I'm gonna keep saying two weeks. And I'm gonna take yes, off my man. <laughs> oh no, I was gonna take off my fat lady's head and yes, then get man. <laughs> and then kill everyone and then have Kawadu tell me to start the reaction. <laughs> two weeks, two weeks, two weeks. Uh, uh, yeah, no, we we didn't do a show last week because I was in Virginia. Although, I swear to God, we did a pitch for a Thanksgiving movie. Thankful <laughs> that I think could actually be a movie. I want anybody. That's a that's an open spec script idea. As long as you credit all of us who are on the on the podcast, I think that that shit is fucking great. I need somebody to actually write a screenplay. My, my only regret about that whole experience was that only I and Bryce got to see your eyes change when you went from this will be a fun lark to. 
we're gonna make a fucking mince. Yeah. <laughs> like I, I think it was bad. Look, we just needed to lay on the play, and the idea got too good. We had to, we had, we had to give it the send off that it really deserved. Uh, so uh, everybody, thank you for for having patience with us. Uh, there might be a few more weeks like that throughout the holiday season because obviously. I'll tell you what, though, man, uh, it's it's a lot of fun because we get to try different things. I can imagine a world like um, uh, uh, you came back from Virginia with a yep. little bit of a cough uh, in what three negative COVID tests? Yep, and yep. Went, went went over three. <laughs> yep. Uh, but uh, the but, the Dodger wins uh, again. Like Too fast. we now live in a world where one of us can get sick, and it's just like let's let you know, let's Brett get on over here, Andrew Eaton get on over here, uh, 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 Matthew McConaughey, we like the <laughs> yeah. beer. Uh, uh, yeah, no, I, look, I, I, it's, it's just a totally different vibe, uh, but, but thank you for everybody for being, uh, being patient. Bryce, what's our first topic? Our first topic. Let's get it. In here? Yeah. So, uh, when I was on the road, I always, I do my best to, to conti- try to continue some element of physical fitness. So it, admirable. It, it immediately goes away, but I try. And so the first day I was out. I went to the gym, and a magical moment happened. Okay, so when you say gym, uh, normally I'd stay in a cheap hotel, so the gym boiled down to I'd get on an no, exercise bike. No, this is, this is like, 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 like a gym gym. Like, I went to another place that wasn't in a real hotel. buff dude who was just like, real, real, all right, let's arm wrestle. Basically. That's, that's, <laughs> when's the last time you went to a gym? <laughs> like, I mean, uh, so I'm on the treadmill, and all of a sudden, I hear a sound that I have not heard in decades. Okay, so I know enough about what's coming next, and I guess I'm misremembering how this song goes because I thought a certain bass line hit first. No. What happens first is the voice of an angel, Fergie, (laughs) of the Black Eyed Peas, and... I'm 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 so, going to yeah, understand but, that but, from here on. Can I be granted cancel sanctuary? Yes, no, 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 that, no. That uh, I just, immunity. You are I a get immunity. You're, you're a journalist reporting the facts. Uh, but I I do need to know what what gym equipment is being used. <laughs> it's a moment. bunch of people on treadmills that I, that I can see. Right? Okay, all right. So I'm literally running, running. <laughs> uh oh, foreshadowing. So uh, just the 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 dulcet tones of Fergie going. Let's let's Get it started. Oh. <laughs> Just naked, no music. Nothing. <laughs> Just. <laughs> which, by the way, so, so for those of you who don't know, Jiminy. the song "Let's Get It Started" in here by the Black Eyed Peas was originally commercially released uh, as "Let's, Let's Get, Get Retarded. Retarded." Yeah, uh, uh, in Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Yeah. You can very clear. In fact, that was how they got introduced on onto the main stage of uh, pop music. So uh, it's it's running, running, then running, running, <laughs> and running, running. And so at first, I'm like, fuck, man, this is Virginia. Like, they go hard. Like, this shit never died in Virginia. Virginia like, is for lovers. I guess so. <laughs> like, I did. Who knew that? Like, I, I'm thinking, like, maybe is this who's ever got the, the iPod? Like, are they like a bold, like, but no one's changing my playlist? Like, <laughs> like they, they've had this dance forever. And so it gets all the way to the chorus of everybody singing. Like, let's get retarded in her. Let's get retarded in here. Let's yeah. get re-. And it's at that point. Now, I always thought it, the lyrics were, let's get retarded high. Like, like they're describing the level of high that they were going to get. Uh, I, they, I don't know. They, if they, somebody can they, look they, it they, up. They, they genius, were, genius they, that. Yeah, they, they, they were smoking weed when in that scene in, in Harold and Kumar Go to White Castle. Oh, maybe Let's sure. Try, uh, yeah. Uh, I guess I never uh, thought of it in, in the specific yeah. context of yes. Harold and Kumar go to White Castle. Yeah. That's uh let's get it started. Ha! Oh, ha. They, yeah. Okay. Let's Sorry, get I'm it. wrong. Let's get uh, retarded. So anyway, it's it, it's at about that time <laughs> and I'm and I'm running and run, run in and uh I, I have this grin and I'm I'm trying I'm trying to figure out whether or not I can call you. Like, I'm, I'm like, while I'm, it's happening, while it's happening, I'm so excited. Yo, yo, yo is, Brian, yeah. you know that new sound you're looking for? <laughs> well, listen to this. <laughs> Let's get retarded. <laughs> uh, so uh, 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 I, I see a stir, and somebody's trying to figure out 
where the computer is to hit fast forward. And it gets through the first chorus before it gets skipped. And you look over, there's C-3PO, shut them down, shut them all down. Shut them all down. Oh, they are fine. There we go. A little blast, a little blast from the past. So how far, if you were to estimate, like in seconds or percentage of the, the track? It, did was, they get? it was halfway through the first chorus. <sighs> and, so, and, and I'm gonna assume they gracefully gracefully cross faded over no, to was, Jim Croce. <laughs> <laughs> Time in a bottle. Yes, yeah. that's what comes if on I next. I could take back the last minute. <laughs> no, it was a hard skip forward. Oh. It was it was it was an amazing moment. Price, what's the next topic? Very tellery. Oh man. Uh, uh you you cut me off because you know I could tell an hour-long version of this story, but Penn and Teller went on their first road gig. Uh, or sorry, their second road gig in the last two years uh, yeah. since the pandemic started. And they went to the Paramount Theater here in Austin. And um, I uh, uh, had kind of two quests. Uh, it was like, oh, it'd be really great if everybody on the team or whoever wants to got to see the show that inspired me so much and all that stuff. And then uh, 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 so, so, you know, I reached out quietly to management to try to secure tickets and stuff. Uh, but then also I have the, I have the idea of like, Oh my God, I've had this 26 year correspondence with Teller. I should put it all in the book and give it to him as a gift. That'd be sweet. It was very well received. Um, uh, 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 we had, we had uh, dinner and um, uh, it was an epic journey to get the book physically assembled in time for me to give it to him. Because this has been a thing you've worked on for months now. Uh, well, I, I think it was a, a month and a half I had the idea. And so, and so you know. What is the book? It's, 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 it's literally, uh, uh, I was like, all I know is very few people have an unbroken chain of discussions that go back 26 years. <laughs> and that, and that, and that just to, to, for people who are new to this subject, 26 years ago, as when, a young magician. When I was cold, 19. You cold emailed Teller, one of your heroes. Correct. And he wrote back. Correct. Well, and, and, I, and that began a friendship that has lasted 26 years and many, many, many. And let me just say this as somebody who has read some of these emails. These motherfuckers aren't sending sup cool. Like, <laughs> like they are, they are, they go the volumes each time. Like two full weekends of like me cranking up techno music, chemical brothers, yep. and uh, uh, just, just. <laughs> scooping up stuff from like, uh, okay, what program, what, what account was I using back then? Scoop, dump, scoop, dump, scoop, dump. And then finally, I'm like, I'm out of time. And so we go to uh, uh, Jeff who runs the website and I'm like, hey man, can you edit all this stuff together? And, and, uh, and he's like, well, I would have to literally stop doing my job for you for a week and a half. And I was like, cool, do that. Yeah. <laughs> and so that happens. And then I'm like, uh, hey, David, you know how it's holiday season and it's the most important time of the year? We have a lot of relationship with bookbinders uh, because we make uh, some very special books for a book test. Um, can you see if they can make this into like a leather bound volume with gilded font and all this stuff? And he was like, sure. And then uh, turns out they did it wrong. They made a soft cover. Then, uh, uh, then they did it again, right? And uh, and 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 it was like uh, it, 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 the glue was being bound to four o'clock. Uh, uh, he picks it up. Uh, 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 we're both on 71, driving towards each other, and we meet at a sports bar. And I'm just like, I just want to fold it up and put some craft paper on it and and, yeah. and, and, and have it wrapped. Uh, phone rings. It's Taylor. He's like, Hey, I'm at the restaurant. What's up? And, uh, and I'm like. I'm like, I just gotta wrap this thing. Be right there. 13 minutes. Google Maps says 25. Okay. Yeah. Right, right, right. yeah. So uh, 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 I rush in. I'm I'm like 15 minutes late, but uh, we have a wonderful dinner, and I I hand it to him. Very well received. Uh, yeah. uh, what was like 120,000 words got edited down to just all the best back and forths from when I was 19, and uh, and it it starts when Teller was 47, and in uh, two months I turn 47. And so, and so to see all of the ups and downs, and you've you've heard yeah. all the stories behind the scenes, but uh, but it was very well received. Uh, something uh, that I never expected happened, which was Teller said, uh, "Hey, what are you doing after the show?" And I was like, uh, "I was like, I don't know. I, I go to bed early these days. I got kids." And he's like, "Well, can I come over and see your whole operation?" And I was like, 
and, and, and then now this this is something where I will add editorially. I had mentioned when when they were first like announced to come over. I was like, well, you're gonna invite them over to the place, and you're like, ah, you know, I, like, I did, ah, I there's... did actually. The uh, I think there was an opening the night before, but I was literally already in bed by the time he was in town. Gotcha. So it was too late. Uh, but but like even when I had first made mention of it, you were like. Ah, I mean, I, don't, I mean, like, if, if, you guys. yeah, yeah. So you were uh, the fact that he volunteered to say, "Hey, can I come over and see your your facility?" That's got to be a thrill among thrills. Well, and what's funny is I paused because I was doing the calculus of, "Oh my God, we got kids, and we got fourteen people here, and all this stuff." Can I? I mean, and 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 then he interrupts me. He was, he was like, "You can just drive me out there. I'll Uber back. That's fine." And I was just like, "Oh my God, uh, yeah, are you kidding me? This is amazing." And so uh, 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 we we head on over. I call Bonnie, and I'm like, I'm like, Teller's going to come see the seven-acre Schwood. He's going to see the production facility or whatever. Uh, and I tell him there's a certain ghost story that is not quite public. Let us build a fence, and then I'll tell the ghost story. It's a very good ghost story about this property. But I tell the ghost story first, and then we pull up, and he was like, wow. And then we walk in. And uh, of, of course, the the main room is all finally redone, and he was like, you know, very impressed. Uh, and then he was like, "Wow, this is really a studio." I was like, "Well, we could go to the studio." And so we go into this room. Yeah. And uh, needless to say, he was more impressed. Yes. With this room. Uh, and then I, and I was like, "Well, we could go to the production facility." And so we go over to the warehouse, and and he was more impressed that he. But my favorite part, I swear to God, Justin, he turned the corner and he saw Bonnie's art. And he gasped, and uh, and I and in that moment, like regardless of how appropriate it was, I turned and I yelled out the door. I was like, "Hey, buddy, get over here! Teller's experiencing your art for the first time." <laughs> <laughs> and so, body comes in, and I immediately exit. And they stayed in there for like a half hour talking about Bonnie's art and stuff. And uh, meanwhile, me and Andrew Heaton were just hanging out by the campfire. It's like this. This is all really happening, right? <laughs> it, it, by the way, I see Heaton the next day, and Heaton's like, well, I've spent two days in Austin, <laughs> and within 12 hours, I was driving Teller. Yes, that's right. I think it's going well. <laughs> <laughs> it was unbelievably special. Uh, uh, it, it, it was incredible. Um, uh, I, I, I think that's all I need to say about it, uh, outside of... Uh, 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 oh, oh I, I will say on the show, ooh, man, there was a crazy energy. You could tell that, that, there, that, that this was like, oh, my God. Like, I don't know. I'm switching lanes now into sort of a review mode. But, like, Penn seemed positively giddy to be on the road yeah. again. I had never seen him like that. It was really, really fun. Uh, good show, good time, real special moment. Uh, tell her... Saw this. That's, yeah, that's, that's cool. He took pictures. Yeah, yeah. He's so excited. He took yeah. Pictures. Uh, Bryce, what's the next topic? Horny Airbnb. Uh, this has got to be a Bryce thing. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, over the weekend, I had some friends, some online friends in town. We were doing like a big meetup, and it was like a thing, a COVID thing that had gotten pushed. So we were really excited to see everybody. And so they all stayed in an Airbnb um, in town. And, you know, s some of these Airbnbs, right, they design them to be, like, to have people in all the time, right? So they decorate yeah. them, they make them look nice. Like, you could tell, this place had a lot of art on the walls. And they even had little, um, like, placards next to the art, you know? like oh, So this. you knew who made it? Exactly. Got and it. you could find them on Instagram or something. So it was. It had like that museum-y quality because they know no one's like living here, living here. They are coming in and staying for a few days. And they want to stay in a museum. Exactly. I mean, it sounds an awful lot like what we're doing over over there, where it's like generic. Like we still we have frames with still the generic photos <laughs> that come in the frame. So I have some uh, stock photos. Yeah. So uh, and so I'd like to share with you some of the art that was um, up in. Uh, uh, up, up in that piece. So the first, here's the first piece. This is, um, this was up on the wall. Uh, Justin, can you describe this while oh. I write a text message? Yeah. Uh, uh, so th this is just a, a composite of a, 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 a kind of a mixed up face with an arm coming out of it. It, it very much looks like a, a human that's like kind of fallen into a wormhole. Uh, Bryce, yeah. uh, 
I'm going to ask this question coyly. Uh, sure. Was, this was a an in Austin location. Yes, this was within. This was pretty. This was not far from downtown. Okay. Uh, show that picture again. Sure. Because stylistically, I'm just just know that I'm putting a prediction in an envelope right now. Okay. Okay. You want to like tell me the prediction or? Uh, yeah. I'm. I. This looks like the artwork of the person that Bonnie used to share a studio with. <laughs> I may personally know this person. Oh, <laughs> all right. Oh, Keep goodness. on going. Uh, so, you know, there was, there was some others, like there was this piece. Here. Okay. Different artist, different artist, different yeah. artist. Yeah. yeah. It, it well, was I mean, a lot of artists. All different artists. Like, it, like, cool. well, yes. This, yeah. This one's definitely mixed media. Some, like, like a robot. So this is, yeah. Yeah. It looks like, like, like a deconstructed robot. So you can see like the, 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 the lower parts and separated from the legs and the arms separated and the head separated. So yeah, that's cool. That, that's him. Know. Uh, you know, so he, this was kind of the living room. Uh, ah, that's, very, that's something that's something that's something that's going to differentiate itself on an Airbnb listing. When you're looking for a hip Austin pad, yeah. that, that's, I mean, they say they say keep Austin weird. Uh, that, that's clearly three different artists, three different styles. Uh, very yeah. Austin. Yes. You, you, you might notice on the image here that we've um, there's a oh. pixelated one. There's there's a mosaic there. Um, <laughs> so I have texted both of you the uncensored version of this image, which was hanging <laughs> in the corner of this living room. Um, right, it's like a tall ceiling. It's a big like red demon with horns and ears, and it is. And then a big old dick. And it's got a huge big, ding just dong. A big, old, uh, a big old hard dick. Let, it's let, got, let. got massive flared out pubes and 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 a happy trail to beat the band. Uh, let me just say that if you turn on national public radio at your local station, sooner or later, uh, the BBC shows up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and so, and, and you know, it's up in the corner. It's pretty small. It's you, you may not. I, know. I, I, I think it looks real normal. I, 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 I think it's not <laughs> average. Yeah, sure. I think, I, I, I I think, see I what mean, the big deal is. I, I think see. it's trying to ward away bad vibes. Bryce. I have no notes. That's true. <laughs> I have no notes. And so, um, so we do a little digging around. I'm gonna, <laughs> damn. I'm gonna on damn. the. the Art? We do a little dig. Well, because it's a beer, but you're supposed to use the facility. They've sure. got this little entertainment center. We pull open the entertainment center, and we do see oh, this image. Oh my oh. god! Oh. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> in a in a cabinet with some uh, frisbee golf paraphernalia. Um, well, okay. First got, of all, okay, frisbee so, golf paraphernalia is and, code for fucking frisbees. Yes. <laughs> yeah, like, so they were nice frisbees. frisbees. There are there are two uh, of Tim Burton's playing cards. <laughs> I was not yeah. aware that Tim was into that business. And then there are two rabbits. One just strangling its hog, <laughs> and the other putting uh, uh, what I believe to be a pink a carrot. carrot. Uh, uh, in in whatever orifice uh, uh, this 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 bunny is 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 meant to do, you can't really see it based on the overhanging. Uh, yeah, how do you do a screen capture in iOS? <laughs> and so we it was. It, it, so these are little Easter eggs. I mean, I guess the rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what you pull out when you pull out the carrot. <laughs> More it's, like beaster eggs. Mm. <laughs> it was just very strange. Like the one, the demon in the corner. You're like, well. It's not. It's kind of far away. It's a high ceiling, but this was right there. Like we we played with those playing cards. Like, yeah, it's that very... it's in the game closet. The, right. Like so. So they. Oh wait, they, maybe that's a famous party game that we don't know about. <laughs> is it? Bunnies? Oh shit! Yeah, bunnies yeah. sodomizing it's like themselves. It, it's a version of uh, pigs. You Stroking ever played rabbits. Pigs? Oh, pigs is the best. Yeah. Yeah. That's what that is. That's okay. just another version of it's pigs. bunnies. So yeah. was this in the listing? Was there any any uh, a part of this in the listing? Price? I don't like think any of quirky, that quirky erotic Airbnb or anything <laughs> like that. No, I don't think so. Because we would have. Because if if we knew it was there, we would have like joked about it, and like we definitely would have gotten it for sure if that if we they like, knew ahead of time that was going to be please, there. Please tell me that like this house is in Pflugerville. No, like like the most generic oh, rock you know it's not yeah. that far no it's not that far <laughs> it's not that far <laughs> no it's pretty close to downtown oh. so let me let me let me ask you this yeah. if it were advertised as an erotic airbnb did it have enough dicks to match that description or would they have to add more dicks to make it 
a dick enriched Airbnb. This is more like an R rated uh, Airbnb. Or is this PG or, 13? Or is it mm. X? Or is it. Yeah. Uh, you by the, by the way, uh, Rex Williams just showed up in the audience. So I'm just going to text him with no context these photos. All right, there we go. Um, it, I would say it would need more genitalia. There, there, there was. <laughs> it would need more genitalia, but there was a lot of um, of uh, unsettling art. They had like fake organs in jars and all of the kind of body horror sort of stuff here, like the 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 very long woman in the corner of the the the, the room and yeah, it, so it, it was, was unsettling. Just kind of like unsettling. Yes. It would need more dicks if it was going to be dick centric. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rex, but the show of your thumbs up or down, how do you feel about that image? No. <laughs> oh, no. That's no. bad. No. Big oh. no. You wouldn't get it. Need more dicks. Yeah. Need more dicks. More dicks. <laughs> Sorry. More dicks. More dicks. Is what Sorry. You're saying. Okay, you are, you are, uh, you are slacking on your dicking. <laughs> <laughs> You know what they need? More deep dicking. Yeah. That's what they need. Flopping on that knob. Uh, anyway. <laughs> I mean, I, uh, would, it, would, it, would it be out of school to suggest that maybe this is exactly what they want out of having these outrageous images in an Airbnb? Just Almost certainly. To have people talk about and be like, you won't believe what I saw. Well, the, in, yeah. the, in the description, was one of the requirements must like dicks? I mean... No, that's the point. No, it was it, just enough dicks to be salacious in an area where you were not expecting to see dicks. Okay. If they had said, come by to the way, dick Airbnb, they would have needed to step their dick game up. I want to see the reviews. The like, reviews, we, the for reviews that were place. all very positive. Five out of five, says X Hamster. Five out of five, <laughs> says X Doom. <laughs> five out of five, says my ex girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, that was the Airbnb. Uh, yeah. What's the next topic? Our next topic. Oh, I turned my phone off because I had a. That's a bobcat. <laughs> okay, so uh, 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 I, I had kind of a double booking just before you left for Virginia. Uh, uh, I had my college roommate was in town, yep. and you also had your Halloween party. Yep. So we show we showed up early ish and um um uh, in in peaced out early-ish. Uh, uh, I apologize. I wish we could have stayed longer, but we ended up, you know, just, just sort of just doing that, that, uh, you know, talking about old times things yeah. that old people do when, yeah. you know, uh, but at the end of the night, it's about, uh, I don't know, close to midnight. Um, uh, uh, my friend Brady, who I think I've talked about on the show, uh, he, he, he says, okay, goodbye, buddy. And, you know, big hug. This yeah. is it. Well, you know, maybe we'll see each other again. And off he goes. That <laughs> sounds solemn. <laughs> Wait, he lives all the way up in Round Rock. Oh. <laughs> it's not that far. <laughs> it's not no, that far. Not that no, far. Uh, 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 so, so he leaves, and it's like, I'm like, <sighs> and then all of a sudden I hear, ah! and then uh, and then the, the door opens. And he goes, right, 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 right. I'm like, what, what, what's going on? He was like, dude, I was just about to get in the car, and I swear to and all of a sudden, this 30 pound, like, do you have a lot of animals around here? I'm like, yeah, we got a lot of animals. Like, what kind of animals you got? Yeah, I don't know. We got deer. Is like, no, what deer? Uh, yeah, yeah, we got raccoons. We got, uh, uh, there's literally a fox right over there. Uh, 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 he's like, what just happened? He was like, I swear to God, a 30 pound bobcat just rushed right by my legs. And I was like, what? Well, I've got the security cameras. Yeah, and so I call up the one security camera. Nothing. I'm in fact, what I call up is a clip of him saying to me, "A thirty-pound bobcat." Just <laughs> <ran past me. laughs> yeah, and I go to another one. Nothing there. And then finally, I find the footage of uh, and and it's way it's way out there, which is why it was able to catch it uh, because apparently it went so so fast. We didn't so goddamn fast. We, we we didn't catch the incident. But uh, are you ready to see the bobcat? Do, do you have any theories? <laughs> I just saw something like that. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. Describe it. What is Justin watching? All right, here we go. We are looking at Brian's gazebo here on the property. <laughs> that is <laughs> definitely Brian's dog, Joy. It's not It's not even my dog. It's somebody else's dog. Oh, somebody dog. else's dog. It might as well be my dog, Joy, with a leash on. With a leash on <laughs> that just walks. <laughs> Right by with a big old shitty grin into the wilderness. Uh, yeah, it's just a gray ass dog <laughs> with its leash that apparently scared the living shit out of Brady. Oh, so good. <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. So anyway, uh, we have bobcats. Nobody come. No. Nobody come. That's why we're building a fence. Exactly. Walk in the and, bobcats and uh, 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 assembling the dicks <laughs> uh, of of to stay, scare away the bobcats. Bryce, did you see any bobcats in that Airbnb? No. I rest my case. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they even had like tasty rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they found themselves pretty tasty based on what they uh, were doing. Look, there's only one way that we could rid this haunted property of uh, bobcats. Yeah, and that's if you join our Patreon at patreon.com slash great night. Uh, not only do you get an exclusive, not on the free feed episode each and every week, but last week we had an even better treat for everybody. You guys got the full and complete live show that we did here on this property, not but a month and change ago that included live performances from Andrew Heaton, from uh, uh, the, the, the mind Donnelly. noodler himself, Matt Donnelly, and Jomo uh, and, and the Possum Posse. It was an amazing night. We all had a great time, and you guys got to experience it. If you are a patron, because you went to patreon.com slash great night. Hells yeah, dude. And uh, you also get your own RSS feed. So it's all real simple, real easy, and it keeps us in business. Hell yeah. Bryce, we got a game. Uh, we do have a game. This game was sent in by Joe. Thank you, Joe, for this. This is uh, a game called Did They Say It? John Malkovich edition. Uh, Joe writes, John Malkovich is an actor and producer and writer with hundreds of credits to his name. He's played memorable roles in many memorable movies and TV shows with memorable lines. Uh, of course. Of course. Uh, can you answer the question, did he say it? So I'm going to give you a quote. Uh, I can tell you the movie and the character and the year. I'm going to give you the quote. And you're going to tell me if it is a real or a fake now, quote. Now, Brian, when we were doing the rundown during our meeting, right? you made a startling admission. It's, I guess some people have face blindness. Yeah. I have remembering what John Malkovich sounds like blindness. Okay. Uh, and, so you and, don't, so you know the name John Malkovich. Oh, no, I, I know the character. I know the actor. I can picture his face. Uh, but, where, where would you know him from? I don't know. Being John Malkovich. Okay. That's low hanging fruit. Dangerous sure. liaisons. Okay. Uh, other shit. <laughs> so there we go. We got two movies that you know John Malkovich. From. Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, uh, so you don't, he has a very distinctive speaking style. I, okay, so here's what I. Not, almost like Christopher Walken esque. Like, well, like it's got stilted, a, a, right? Well, I, I don't know. Oh, you're going to make me try to. I, I mean, I just. I mean, I could do him how, singing how it... Malkovich, Malkovich <laughs> from inside Let's his own try mind. There. Let's start there. <laughs> and I could be, all right, yeah. Malkovich, 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 Malkovich. And you think that's his speaking voice? No. No, no, okay. no. I also know his yelling voice. What's his yelling voice? Uh, uh, because, uh, I, 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 is, uh, yeah, because he goes, yeah, at some point he's like, it's my fucking brain! Right? That's actually not bad. Yep. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. And then um, uh, everything else, oh, he was the assassin Although, in... Although, wait, hold on. Uh, if you hold were... on. No, 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 no. The Clint Eastwood movie... Richard Jewell. Fuck you. <laughs> has... Uh, 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 Tombstone. No, he's protecting the president. Uh, uh, oh, shit. God damn it. Air Bud. Plays, plays... <laughs> <laughs> Airbud. Airbud <laughs> one. Airbud one. People forget that that was a Clint right. joint. <laughs> Turns out, I don't see anything in the rule book that says you can't kill the president. <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's, in, in the told, line of fire. In the oh, there we go. Fire. Thank you. Okay, I was about uh, to say, I, because I wanted to say point of no return, but that was the remake of uh, the, the not Lolita, the other one, the French one. Sure, Lolita. Yeah. Right, yeah. Fuck, fuck, yep. Fuck off. Yeah. Now. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, All right. So Nikita. Is that it? Uh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, but but uh, it's very stilted, and it's almost like he has an accent, but from nowhere. Um, okay. So give me, uh, 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 say, uh, here's here's a, a line. Uh, uh, I, I didn't order tuna. I ordered ham. Is that a real line he said? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. God damn it. Fuck you. All I don't right. know how John Malkovich, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, Brian <clears throat> Brushwood as John Malkovich with the famous line, I didn't order tuna. I ordered ham. Excuse me. I... <laughs> I, <laughs> can I just tell you real quick? You're, you're not good. on the wrong path. You're not. You're, you're good. not on the wrong path. You're on the. Yeah. 
You know, Brian, the only way to get good at something is to be bad at it. For I know, a while. I heard that from me. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, so here we go, everybody. Everybody, real quiet. Brian Brushwood I, has John Malkovich. Go. I ordered the, sorry, the what? The, uh, I didn't order tuna, I ordered ham. Famous John Malkovich line. <laughs> Brian Brushwood impression. Excuse me. I didn't order the tuna. I ordered the ham. Yeah, nope. that, that it's too, too British. Sucks. Too British. Sucks. Fuck, fuck. Sucks. Uh, you know what? So far, I ain't heard no competition. Why don't you deliver it? I uh, uh, choose not to. Uh, <laughs> Hey, Brett, what's our punishment for the game? Well, um, that's very interesting that you won't do it. That's very interesting. Because, well, should I should I say what the punishment is Yes, now? say it now. Well, no, no shit this time. I want. I'm not snorting shit. First of all, no, no shit this no, time. No, no shit. Not, not a bit of no shit. All right. Uh, but I think maybe you should uh, try your best, Malkovich, uh, because whoever loses is going to have to do the voice of John Malkovich for, for the, the rest, rest of, of the, the show. show. God damn it. Okay. <laughs> for the rest of the show. For the rest of the show. Do you want to hear that for the rest of the show? <laughs> yeah. You think that's going to make him a better what? comedy partner? I, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, what is be, that, what do you think it would sound this. like if you had to do it for the rest of the show? I politely decline. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like I'm, I'm like Aaron Rodgers in the vaccine. I politely uh, decline. I, I'm just saying it's probably coming for you then. There <laughs> we go. Bullshit. I know this shit. I know I know John Malkovich movies. I'm a smoke Brian. Uh, yeah, uh, he's gonna be having he's gonna be having the fucking tuna and the ham by the time this shit's over. All right, all right. Let's hear number one. Wait, 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 wait what you got? Hold on, Bryce. Do, do you have a John Malkovich impression? I politely decline. <laughs> Fuck all of y'all. No, you know what? Let me give it a shot. I'm all gonna right. give it a shot. All right, go, go ahead. ahead. Okay, give me give me the line again. Uh, uh, I didn't order I the didn't tuna. Order the tuna. I, I ordered, ordered the, the ham. ham. Okay. Excuse me, I didn't order the tuna. I ordered the ham. Oh, no, he does. He has that kind of sing-songy thing yeah. that yeah. he does where very, he's very, very constantly theatrical. irritated, yeah. and he just wishes just you would get want, his order would right. Would you just listen to me? Would you listen yeah. to both listen, of us as we do John to me. Listen. Yeah. Listen. You gotta, listen. It's a little breezy. Oh, now trying. you're in. Fuck both of you. Listen. Okay. All right. Listen. Oh, now you want to okay. jump in, Bryce. Because <laughs> yeah. I found a flag. I found a flag <laughs> for exactly. it. Yeah. You have a North Star. It's, yeah. All right. It's like products. Like, you just yeah, need the yeah, one yeah, word. You got oh, yeah. to find your hook. Listen that's to me. All right. So It's not close. <laughs> uh, we uh, have got a have got a quote here. We're gonna start with you, Brian. Yep. We'll go. You each get one uh, from the movie Con Air. The quote is: ah. "Make a movie." Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> Make a move, and the bunny gets it. Make a move, and the bunny gets it. You know, you know who his character was in uh, uh, Con Air? Well, I know uh, he was the bad guy. Cyrus the Virus. Yeah? That's right. Yeah. That sounds like a uh, good guy. No, he's the bad guy. Oh. Nick Cage is the good guy. Oh, wait. He could eat a peach for hours. <laughs> <laughs> I, think I, I think I saw that movie. Yeah. Uh, okay, so um, uh, uh, was it, wasn't he one of the titular cons that they uh, needed in the air? Well, the whole the airplane, air? the whole yeah. airplane is filled with cons. <laughs> yeah. I, I made the whole plane the, the name. Con air. I mean, con you know air. I am the world's <laughs> greatest con. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, uh, what was the line again? The it's going to be, every, everybody fucking laughs until we turn this into a fucking fan <laughs> podcast in season two. <laughs> Make a move and the bunny gets it. <laughs> so that sing song is stilted. Make a move and the bunny gets it. I don't think he said that. I think that sounds more like something Nick Cage would say. Your answer of false is. Ah, no, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> uh, Incorrect. Yeah, he said that shit. He said Make that shit. Make a move shit. and the bunny gets it. 
Hold on, hold on. Yeah, 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 hit me with that again. Make a move and the bunny gets it. Oh, he's also got the ooh, ooh, ooh. Make a move yeah, and the bunny gets it. Out. Ooh, Make a move and the bunny gets, gets it. it. Okay, uh, so now uh, that you've heard it, try to do the, the tuna line again. Uh, yes, uh, okay. Inner city life, inner city pressure. The inner city world is starting to get you. <laughs> you sold everything that you own. <laughs> Your toothbrush, jar, and a camera phone. <laughs> I'm, I'm <laughs> just doing flight of the car. You just, car. yeah, no, we were aware. <laughs> uh, uh, okay, what was the line? Uh, uh, so, uh, I, didn't line. Order the tuna. I didn't order the tuna, I ordered the ham. I didn't order the tuna. I ordered the ham. <laughs> what is that last? That last one was really weird. But go. I, I, this is I, what you I want for that, 30 minutes. I, I, this is what you want for 30 minutes. You Brent. can always throw this it. This is what you want. You can always throw it. I politely decline. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's no point for Brian on this one. Justin. Go. From the 2016 movie Zoolander. Uh, his role as Chaz. Spencer, the quote is, I hope you're not apoplectic. Because they're going to take a lot of pictures. I hope you're not apoplectic because they're going to take a lot of pictures. I don't think I've seen Zoolander sober. Uh, what about yeah, Zoolander no, 2? He, he had that drinking phase <laughs> I definitely back went when the to, movie came I definitely, out. No, me, personally. <laughs> oh, I, see. I don't think right. either, either in the However, theaters okay, just, or just, just on home to, video to, I was to ever To try not. on for size... Give the line to me as Dr. Evil. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you're not apoplectic. <laughs> because they're going to be taking a lot of pictures. <laughs> right. Yes, yes. Oh, shit. So you tell me. <laughs> Is it more likely to be Mike Myers <laughs> or, or John, John Malkovich? <laughs> Mike Myers, who had no involvement in Zoolander. No involvement in Zoolander. Uh, uh, I believe that that is a line Got from the, Zoolander. No, I want to say it. It's so weird. I hope you're not apoplectic. <laughs> Sorry. And that's, that's, your, that's your John Malkovich? Yes. Yes. Oh, wait, no, no, that was no. your John Malkovich or that was your Dr. Evil? Uh, actually, now no. you wanted to do the Dr. Evil? <laughs> actually, that was my Dr. Detroit. I have a chiropractic. <laughs> and, you, know, you never saw it. Okay, that's fine. No. All right. All right. Uh, your answer of true is... Hoggers. Oh, wait, no. Loser, uh... <laughs> loser, loser. Incorrect. Oh, right. No. All right. No, Incorrect. no. Not, not poggers at all. Not but poggers. It's zero, zero here. The it's... opposite of poggers. Brian, we got you. Ready. Wow, a real fucking pitcher's duel. Huh? <laughs> uh, in his character Jerome on Friends, the TV show, the quote is, who's the smelly cat now? Oh, yeah. That's, of course, the song that uh, Phoebe sings. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, we all know Jerome, right? From Friends. Yeah. Classic Jerome. Yeah. That Jerome Mania that swept America. <laughs> remember, we all uh, remember Jerome, right? I, I remember. What did Jerome wear? <laughs> uh, oh, that famous Jerome on Friends. <laughs> he, what, did, what did he? He had that. It was the come on with the buttons. What he, did, what he was what selling? He, he was selling the 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 Jerome therapy stuff. Yeah, uh, and, and that was his gift. He had that jaunty. <laughs> Hold on, I, this is a sing song. What was the line? The so the line is, "Who's the smelly cat now?" Okay. <clears throat> Who sings song is stilted? Who is the smelly cat now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, he definitely. Like, said I didn't that. know Nathan Lane. Nathan <laughs> Lane was on Friends. <laughs> Fucking, a very what? pouty, a very pouty a very Nathan pouty Lane. I'm working <laughs> on it. A very pouty. A, oh, that smelly cat. No, no that, that's John Malcolm. This is my John Malcolm. <laughs> that's that's French night. Hey, <laughs> if you oh, see a smelly cat, smell it, that's cat. the sign of the rock. a smelly cat is in my book. Well. I've got a smelly cat that seats about 20. <laughs> Wait. I ordered the tuna, not the ham, honey. <laughs> uh, okay, Brian, we're looking for a true or false. Uh, who is the smelly not cat? Not apoplectic. There's going to be a lot of pictures taken of me. 
Jerome, baby. <laughs> the universes are collapsing. <laughs> I, uh, yes, yes. It's a real thing, and he said it. You're going to say it's true. That answer is... Incorrect. Wow. Oh, another fakey. <laughs> <sighs> Jerome Jerome, huh Did anybody else remember that motherfucker was on Friends? I didn't watch a lot of Friends Anybody, we have no Friends people here? No, we're getting some No, we're seeing chicken Yeah, heads nobody uh, Was he on Friends? <laughs> I'm, uh, I guess I'm assuming so Let's see, Friends, Jerome I'm not finding it I'm, I'm finding Thomas he, the Tank Engine Wikia But I don't think I'm, that that's I'm, going I'm, to Thomas I'm, the I'm guessing he was probably just like an ad exec or something Although, like, who knows if it had anything to do with Smelly Cat Because it was just a fake line <laughs> you, yeah, No, I don't want to explore this This, this, is like, this is like when you try to remember your dream And it just fucks up your memories Because you think that thing happened Because yeah. you rehearsed it yeah. so much uh, uh, Alright, yeah, yeah. fuck it, move on It does not look like he was on Friends Alright, next one So that was just it He was not on Friends at all <laughs> He didn't play anyone named Jerome And he had nothing to do with Smelly Cat <laughs> So wait, so we're, we're not even saying He was, uh, things that he was on We now can go the entire universe yes. Of every piece yes. of media so, like, what was John Malkovich's line in Charlie b Bit My Finger? Like, <laughs> uh, Look, Joe, <laughs> Joe worked very hard on this. Okay. All right. Uh, I, I just didn't know that we were fucking playing prison rules here and just making up random shit. Because I didn't remember him in Zoolander either. But that had, that had a shit ton of cameos. Yeah, right. but no, like in Dr. Evil? <laughs> Uh, all right, uh, Justin, this one's for you. This is a psyop. Curtis <laughs> Rock in the chat. From the 2010 film Red, in his role as Marvin Boggs, the quote is, I never thought I'd say this again. I am getting the pig. <laughs> now, so far, we've only had one actual quote. Yes. And it was in a movie that he was in. And we heard it. Which is yeah. why my impression is still very bad. Because <laughs> that's all I have to go on. Now, I'm almost positive he was in red. So if, if the actual game is remember the movies that and TV shows that John Malkovich was actually no, in. No, no, no. This because is, the this fake is, ones this is are prison lies. Rules because the fake might, ones are lies. No, characters. fuck it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going on this. I'm going on this. Yes, he was in red. Yes, he said some shit about the pig. Your answer of true is. He's done it. He's done it. Ah! Here's the clip. You're welcome. Frank, I never thought I'd say this again. I am getting the pig. <laughs> <laughs> I never... What's he doing with his? It's, uh, one he starts. More he starts soft. Yeah. And mm -hmm. then he gets excited. And never, I never I thought never I'd say thought. this. I never thought I'd say this. this again. <laughs> I am I getting the pig. pig. Okay. Okay. All right. I got it. Yeah. I got it. Okay. Because he okay. does. He does a lot of the like, like very soft, very, very big swing. Soft. Very ah, swings. Da, yes. Da, da, da. Very smashing yeah. pumpkins. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Very <laughs> Corrigan ass. <laughs> All right. That's a point for Justin. There we go. On the board. On the board. Brian, ready. In the 2011 film. At Tran first, I didn't think I was ready. But now I feel ready. <laughs> We're getting there. Okay. We're getting right. there. We're on the road. We're on the road. Right. From the 2011 film Transformers, colon, Dark Side of the Moon. <laughs> 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 Who fucking made it through all seven hours oh. of that? In his role as Bruce B Brazos. But nobody watched that movie. That was the one. I believe that, that was the one with the, the robot testicles in it. Wait, was, yeah. that, was that the robot nuts one or the one where they had the racist robot? Uh, I think this was the first one with Mark Wahlberg in it, and they. they uh, oh, the one where he's like, like you got an alien, alien gun? gun? Yeah, yeah, I saw the preview too. Yeah. <laughs> well, Jesus <laughs> fucking yeah, Christ! Don't get so provincial. No, I just <laughs> that neither of us watched the movie. No, I know. Yeah, I just yeah. like, yeah, that's yeah. the only thing I yeah. know about the movie. <sighs> okay, Brian, you're your quote a little is, tight. I am. You're getting a little tight. <laughs> You know, at first, be. I wasn't very tight, <laughs> but now I'm fine. <laughs> the quote is, come on, people. Yes, a workmate died, but looking out the window is not going to bring him back. Come on, people. Yes, a workmate died, but looking out a window is not going to bring him back? Yes, he said that. I think he would go actually go high to soft on that. Like out of, but come on, people. But looking out the window yeah, there we go. isn't going to bring him back. 
There you go. Ah. Okay. There, there we go. go. It's feeling better. Yeah. All right. Your answer is you win. Yay! Oh, God damn it. How close? How Just close? Clip. How close? That's Jerry. Come on, people. Yes. A workmate died, but looking out the window is not going to bring him back. The man was depressed. <laughs> he clapped. I, I instinctively knew that he would be clapping while he said that. <laughs> I, I do have it. You are. You are channeling the mouth of the levels touch. that nobody has ever seen before. I've got the power. <laughs> We, we will be filming being John Malkovich 2 after the show. There we okay. go. Okay. Brian is becoming John Malkovich. <laughs> <laughs> or Justin is. Oh. Oh, you need oh. to knock it off that, <laughs> with these threats. Justin. Yeah. In his role as Dr. Quaid on the TV show ER, the quote is, I wouldn't trust you, Dr. Carter, to lance a boil on my ass if my life depended on it. First of all, what type of medical emergency <laughs> <laughs> requires uh, 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 a, a wheel of, it. of a boil on his like, ass? They're like, doctor, or he's gonna die. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I think it is. I think it is. It's not. It's not like him. He's legit. I don't think he's legit saying I wouldn't. It's like I wouldn't trust you, Doctor Carter, to lance a boil. Like, oh, are you, is that your impression? Yeah. Is that is that just <laughs> what was that? What was that, Bryce? <laughs> yeah. Come on. Come on, bro. I, I, I wouldn't trust you. <laughs> hey, Dr. Quaid. No, 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 Dr. Quaid. <laughs> I'm just a simple Southern doctor. Uh, well, no, I'm just John Malkovich here. I do diagnose. Uh, I, would not, I would not trust you, Dr. K, to last a boil on my ass. If my life depended, if my life on, life depended on it. On it. <laughs> Anyway, where's Clooney? I, wish <laughs> <laughs> oh, I mean, I have a date with Juliana Margulies. <laughs> All right, Justin, we're looking for you. Would I wouldn't trust you, Dr. Carter, to lance a boil. This motherfucker wasn't on ER. This is bullshit. Totally was. Bullshit. Not mm. on ER. We'll see. Not on ER. Oh, okay. noted ER expert, Ex Brian Brushwood. Uh, capitalize ER when you write the word expert. <laughs> Just those two letters? Yeah, E X A capital E R T. Yeah. X part. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, no, false. Your answer, false, is. Yasin! Correct. Oh. That was a test, and you passed. Good. Come on, people. <laughs> yes, the work made Looking done. out the window is it going to cause <laughs> Justin's accent to manifest itself? <laughs> Only Brian defeating him I will. Ain't doing it. I ain't doing this fucking accent. Oh. I'm winning this game. All right, Brett, real quick, what's our score? Uh, we've got Brian with uh, one point, and we've got Justin with two points. Come on, Brian. <laughs> bah. Bah. Two points. I believe in you, Brian. <laughs> I'm I believe in, in you. Malcolm, bitch. My fucking head. Yes. Skint <laughs> out. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll speed this up here a little. Brian. Yep. In his role as Osborne Cox in Burn After Reading, <laughs> the quote is Put up a note. Or, excuse me. Put up a note. Quote Highly classified shit found. Signal intelligence shit. CIA shit. Hello. Anybody lose their secret CIA shit? I don't think so. Burn after his reading. Aw, his his role as, uh, sorry, as Osborne Cox in the movie Burn After Reading. Ask Burn Cox. You remember, you remember that one? Burn, yeah, burn After Reading. I think you're just making fun eating. of the way I speak. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> look, look, Bryce, no, uh, he's, he's, he's getting real rough and tumble, man. He snapped at me about fucking Transformers, and now, no, he's, no, now no. he's picking on you. As the more Malkovich he's become, the more prickly he gets. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm going to say yes. Yes. You remember that movie? Yeah, dude. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> what What happened in the movie? Who else was there? Oh, it? dude, uh, he walks in and he's like, I'm Oswald Cobblepot. <laughs> <laughs> I love to eat ass, but I always burn after eating. <laughs> Send this message. <laughs> Telegram. <laughs> Shit. I'm Oswald Cobblepot. <laughs> and I love to eat ass. <laughs> I put that on a poster. <laughs> I'm Oswald Cobblepot, and I love to eat ass. <laughs> I remember it like yesterday. No, this is the Coen yeah. Brothers movie, right? Um, With Brad Pitt. 
Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, <laughs> Brad Pitt was eating during all of his lines. I think that's the other one. I think this is the one where he's the gym instructor. Yeah, well, because Jim was really confused. <laughs> <laughs> you want an arm wrestle? Okay, please. Just, uh, I said yes. I said yes. Yeah. That's my Oswald pick. Oswald Cobblepot. <laughs> let's, uh, let's eat some ass. <laughs> let's take a listen. Raw intelligence. I'm not touching this. God damn it. I, I wanted want to run you off. Just throw it out? No, you can't do that. You should put up a note in the ladies' locker room. Put up a note? Highly classified shit found? Signals intelligence shit? CIA shit? Hello? Did anybody lose their secret CIA shit? I don't think so. I don't know. Oh. So it's incorrect. It, it wasn't Pitt John Malkovich. It was Brad Pitt. It was Brad Pitt. I mean, in this timeline. <laughs> in <Yeah>. this universe. <laughs> sure. So, wait, so was he also in that scene or was that? that was no, him he then. was. I don't, I don't that know. Was him, that was him in the background. In the that. background. But yeah. it wasn't him saying the line. It was not him saying the line. So, yeah. So there are no fucking rules to this goddamn game. And just anything can fucking happen. Yeah. A wise what? man once realized it's prison rules. Where, anything goes. All right. Look, I just, wanted to, I just want to know. I want to know what I'm playing. Okay. I don't want to know, want to know where, where we're going in life. All right. Uh, so that's no point for Brian on that one. Justin. Yep. From the 1988 film Dangerous Liaisons, God damn it. <laughs> and his role as Vicomte de Valmonte, the quote is, one does not applaud the tenor for clearing his throat. One does not applaud the tenor for clearing his throat. I'm telling you as a friend, he definitely said it. He said it. Your answer of true that he said it, well, let's take. That's, that's. Would have been almost insultingly simple. One does not applaud the. God damn! Oh! 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 We're not friends! That's a no point! Prison rules, motherfucker! Prison rules! I'm apoplectic! <laughs> <laughs> I did not order the tuna, I ordered the ham! I did not ham. order the tuna, There's I ordered the ham! There's nothing quite like a shorn ham! <laughs> Um, Dr. Evil and Bridget. <laughs> what a random fucking house guest to just pop into this show. <laughs> just, uh, just a spate of evolving Dr. Evil impressions. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's It'd see. be great if like, the president during the State of the Union just <laughs> randomly like had to do one line each time as Dr. Evil. All right. Uh, let's see. Two more here, and then we'll get to our final one. Uh, Brian. Yes. From the film of Mice and Men and his role as Lenny Small, the quote, You're damn right, George. You goddamn right. Is that real or fake? <laughs> oh, you motherfucker. God, I think you switched up Lenny and George. Well, he's done that twice now. In the last two questions. Right. But, 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 but it's the dumb one that would say, George. Because of, I know that from the Looney Tunes cartoon. Yeah. <laughs> and so, George. And so, George. So, I will name well, him George. I will love him and pet him and name him George. Right. Uh, 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 it, so, so, so. The that, quote is, you're damn right, George. You goddamn right. So Lenny would be saying. Yeah, that, that, that makes no sense. I'm going to say no. No way. You're going to say it is false. Your answer is. Damn right, you got damn right, I could. Incorrect, oh. it was oh. John Malkovich. <laughs> he was, what the fuck? I think you out george yourself. <sighs> All right. All right, uh, Justin, from the 2009 film Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. Oh, God damn it. In his role as Terrence, the quote is, holy crap balls. <laughs> holy crap balls. <laughs> uh... Can I just say right, I had never seen this movie? It's great. It's I great. Know, it's I know, great. It's, I know it's, it's great. Lord and Miller making yeah, their debut. I know. Uh, uh, also, I, I'm almost certain it's, it, the line is holy crab balls because it would be about the food falling from the, the sky, uh, which tells me that it's probably not. I'm saying this is a friend. 
Uh oh, he's put this up the pinky. This is my genuine opinion. I, I don't is need your pinky. Okay. We're playing prison rules here. Okay. Whether or not we understand. That means. Right. <laughs> I, I, thought, I thought you were going to take that pinky and go. <laughs> yes. One million. Holy crap balls. <laughs> <laughs> One does not applaud the gunner <laughs> more, more clearing, clearing his, his throat. throat. <laughs> Scotty Dart. <laughs> <laughs> Justin. Holy crap balls. True or false? Holy crap balls. Holy crap balls. Crap what? balls. How is this my living? This is the dumbest shit ever. <laughs> Fucking, all right. Because either I'm going to be an idiot for getting it right or a moron for getting it wrong. <laughs> For saying that John Malkovich did or didn't say holy crap balls in Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs in 2009. He didn't. Gonna say that he did not. Your answer is. He did it! Correct. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right. Yes, well, you're welcome. Well, wait, let's hear it if you're right. No, I said he didn't. Oh, he did didn't. not. Yeah. Oh, so, oh, so, yeah. The, no, 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 but half these were all the tricky ones. So, so you were saying that it might have been crab balls. I thought that, that that's, oh, correct. that's correct. Yeah. That's correct. Yeah. Well, we don't have that at this time. Oh, okay. So, uh, all right. It's time for our final round before we do that. Brett, can you tell me the score, please? Brian won. Justin, Yay! Justin three. Oh, wow. <laughs> that's actually a good bit. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Brian won. Yay! <laughs> Justin, three. Uh, oh. <laughs> All right, it's time for our four-point round. It's anybody's game. Pull out your phones. Gentlemen, you're going to answer. Bow. You're going to text me your question or your answer. One, two, three, bow. <sighs> From the 2018 film Bird Box, <laughs> in his role as Douglas, the quote is, Douglas. You let tweet, a tweet, tweet, tweet. <laughs> The quote is, you let a stranger in the house? Are you a simpleton? So you're going to text Ooh, me your answer. That's a very Malkovichy line. <clears throat> One more time. You let a stranger into the house. Are you a simpleton? Okay, that's okay. Yeah, that's sorry, sorry. very mean. That, that, I, you said, my, my, my finger slipped. Uh, <laughs> you jackass. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, I, 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 what did he text? <laughs> I just texted fuck you. <laughs> Okay, that's very mean. <laughs> All right, I've got Brian's answer here. <laughs> Justin, I'm waiting on yours. Ah, I see here. Ah! All right. All right, gentlemen, uh, we have got your answers here. Brian, for the game, your answer of false. And I'm going to have to drop this into the answer hole. <laughs> Is. First, you got to go to the strip mall and explain that you have PTSD. <laughs> we do a thing. We do it. All right, here we go. Is incorrect. Ah! And it's the same answer, Justin. Put in. It's a Justin oh. win. That man, he's money. What? What? Did, wait. What was that? Was that your? That's Malkovich? my John Malkovich from Rounders impression, <laughs> motherfucker. He had one the whole oh! time. Oh! In my back pocket, I only know him with the Russian accent. <laughs> I am going all in. <sighs> I want to thank uh, Joe, who sent this in. Thank you so much, Joe. If you've got an idea for our game, please send it in to us. Greatnightpod at gmail.com. You can send in games, questions, your high thoughts, ideas for punishments for yes. Brett. Yep. All sorts of great stuff. One more time, greatnightpod at gmail.com. Thank you. You know, Brian, uh, uh, normally as we move into our third act here, I, I usually wind up doing a lot of the, the traffic cop elements of the show where we bring people on. But I feel like uh, that, that leaves you out of the mix. So why don't you introduce our, our musical guest here tonight? <clears throat> it's my fucking head! <laughs> <laughs> Jomo, ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome Jomo in. Everybody, a round of applause. Thank you. Give me a, to help you there. I got it. I got, I got it. it. There we go. <laughs> he does his own thing, Malkovich. You he know? does. You can't tell him. You can't give him lines, or you tell him tell him how to do stuff. He's he's on his own. You know. He, so, he's uh, yeah, a singular artistic force. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, 
Jomo, uh, 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 how have you been? How was Halloween for you? Uh, it was spooky, man. It was so, so much spooky stuff. Um, yeah, how was it for you? Pretty good. We uh, uh, gave out candy. My, my wife just left a bowl of candy out, and the kids ravaged it. They just yeah. pillaged it like, 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 like hordes. Well, like, that's... Like, like, like Visigoths. That's your contractual obligation, and I'm glad you you did it, you know? Yeah. It's just Halloween, and you're done. Next time, I'm just going to throw it in the street. Yeah. Let them scurry around like feral Take animals. That. animals. <laughs> That's kind of what they did on, on uh, in 2020 when COVID was raging. When it was uh, a raging, they put out, people just put out tables with candy, and it was like, you know the deal. Just... So fortune favors the bold. Like all, yeah. all the kids yeah. that just Some really want like... to be out there, brrrap, yeah. got it all. Yeah. This year they were back to their kind of normal, normal, normal action. I, any, I went with the kids. You got any big uh, ho- holiday plans? You doing any traveling? Uh, you know, we we're gonna go in uh, in uh, December. We're gonna go to Columbus, Ohio. We go every year and we do a little. They do a beer tasting and and we play a bunch of music set to videos, and then they show Christmas Vacation. It's all re- very weird. Get everybody gets really. Drunk. Wait, this is over the holiday, like this it's in, in December? Yeah, December. It's a weekend December. We do four shows, one after another. Well, one on Friday, two on Saturday, one gotcha. on Sunday. They're always packed house and uh, at the Grandview Theater there in uh, in Columbus. Well, holy shit. Yeah, uh, everybody's got to got to figure that out. That's I'm pretty lit. excited about yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. We're, uh, yeah, we're pretty pumped. It's one of the best gigs for us of the whole year. Uh, uh, what do you got here for us tonight? I'm going to just play a, a few songs. Okay. You know? Yeah. I'm going to play. Uh, <laughs> That's fucking pretty cool. Uh, I brought the I guitar. like that. that I, thing, I, oh, I, shit. I hadn't even noticed. Yeah. Uh, it, I think so. Yeah. I don't know. God, Bryce, what? does it? Uh, it does. All right. Okay. We're good. I, you said that, and then all of a sudden it was quiet, <laughs> which is normally what happens. Uh, 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 so what is this one called? This one's, uh, this one's uh, called Like Like, and the guy that plays drums in our band, Chris Steakhouse. Ruthless Chris Steakhouse. Ruthless Steakhouse. Chris Steakhouse. He yeah. uh, he overheard this conversation at the uh, I don't know where he was at the diner or something. You know, there we so go. we uh, turned it into a song. Ladies and gentlemen, transport yourself to the diner and hear the dulcet tones of Jomo. <laughs> well, he said. I really like you, she said, yeah, but do you like, like me? He said, yeah, I like, like, like you. Do you like, like, like me? She said, hmm, let me see. Yeah, I like, like you too. Cause when you like, like, like somebody, talk to them like you like, like them all. They might not totally hear And when they say that they like, like you You can like, be sure it's like true Cause you've made it totally clear Well, how do you feel now? She said, I really like you a lot He said, yeah, but do you like, like me? She fumbled with her dress and said, I I really like you, yes. He said, oh, oh, I see. Because when you like, like, like somebody, gotta talk to them like you like, like them more. They might not totally hear. And when they say that they like, like you, you can like, be sure it's like, true cause you've made it totally clear and it's literally unreal when you literally feel like you literally totally like 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 someone so baby what's the like like Lee Hood of a girl like you like like liking me because I think you're sent from above somebody like the likes of you and somebody like the likes of me if we could literally we could fall in like 
When you like, like somebody, talk to them like you like, like them all. They might not totally hear. And when they say that they like, like you, you can like, be sure it's like true, cause you made it totally clear. You have made it so, literally, so totally, so clear. Thank you. Forgot to play the harmonica. I put it on and everything, and then I forgot to play it. Oh, you got it at the end. Yeah, I, 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 that's when I remembered it. Oh, the yeah. song's almost over. Oh, shit. I should do this thing. Let me now. get a little, little, when did you start playing harmonica? You know, it's like the easiest instrument to play because it's all in one key. You sound good. It's, yeah. I mean, well, good I think enough. It, 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 you really, the, the harmonica is a very interesting instrument because if you are playing it like, with the guitar, yeah, it, it takes it to the next level. Like now you're now you're like you're doing like a whole different thing. Yeah. But if if there's like if you're the one asshole at a party fucking around with the harmonica, like yeah. nobody wants to get kicked in the face faster no, it, than right. that guy. Right. I I heard uh one of my one of my musical heroes is Todd Snyder and he said um one time like he just keeps the harmonica on because if a line doesn't land and you play harmonica after a line it sounds important. Like anything you say and then blow a harmonica, Brian, it Brian, sounds important. come here. Come here. We're going to test this out. Yeah. Uh, uh, you go ahead and, and give the uh, give 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 the, the tuna uh, ham line. Sure. We're going to see if uh, Jomo can punch it out. Excuse me. I ordered the tuna, not the ham. Everything I say is true. I'm Dr. Evil, too. That's a thing you didn't know about me, John Malkovich. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> right, it works. It kind of works. Can't fucking argue with it. Yeah. Can't argue with the results. Yeah. Jesus Christ. And I mean, if it works for Brian, you know, it works for anybody, right? I feel like we're selling timeshares now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So that's that's, uh, that's yeah, that's it, man. That's a good pro tip. Yeah, yeah. If you if that's you, another thing that the president should use during State of the Union yeah. addresses. If something doesn't like, yeah, when they when they when they, like, it's not a great line, it's like, and I think we should raise taxes. Uh, <laughs> okay, okay, right, okay. All right, all right, okay. <laughs> it's like a, uh, now I'm, that's my speech, and uh, I'm told that next up I should. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I, I thought you were going to say something terrible that you might say at the state of, you know, yeah. I, I, miss, I missed you. I missed you. My bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just like I get at, at the State of the Union. Like, <laughs> Little Miss Muffin. <laughs> Classic State of the Union line. Uh, 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 what's the next song here? Uh, this one's called A True Piece of Crap. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing yeah. could be more fitting on this show yeah. Yeah. than True Piece of Crap by Jomo. Oh. Uh, Joe, do you hear that? I don't hear it, you know? Is my guitar broken again? Oh, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of a stuttering sort of sound. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, do you want to... Yeah, just, just, there we go. Yeah, once again, you know, one of these days... <laughs> I, this thing worked for 10 years. There and, you and go! Then, uh, this thing worked for 10 years, and then I tried to get uh, a little upgrade, and then it just, uh, it hasn't worked since. Well, you're a true, true piece of crap <laughs> And I know sometimes you get a bad rap 
But please know that I've already accounted for that when I say you're a true piece of crap. You're like a long, hard way. You're like a, you're like a bright, sunny day <laughs> in the... All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start at the beginning of... Uh, yeah. You're the writer. You're What are you doing? <laughs> You're like a bright, sunny day in the Sahara. You're like a long walk on the beach in Normandy in 1944. <laughs> Your smile is like a flower, specifically a corpse flower. Have you ever seen a corpse flower? They're disgusting, yeah. You're a true, true piece of crap. And I know sometimes you get a bad rap. Please know that I've already accounted for that when I say, hey, you're a true piece of crap. You're like a breath of fresh air in a vacuum tube. You're the cat's pajamas, or at least you smell like them. You're as fun as a barrel of monkeys, specifically a barrel of that one monkey that bit that lady's face off. Remember that monkey? That's you. You're a true, true piece of crap. And I know sometimes you get a bad rap. But please know that I've already accounted for that when I say, hey, you're a true piece of crap. You're like a cool drink of water when I'm drowning. You really take the cake because you're selfish. You had me at hello. Specifically, you had me wanting to murder you in broad daylight. You're a true, true piece of crap. And I know sometimes you get a bad rap. Please know that I've already accounted for all that when I say, Hey, you're a true piece of crap. You're a true, true, true piece of crap. Yeah, you're a true, true, you're a piece of crap. Oh, yeah. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, Jomo of the Possum Posse, oh, one more time. Thanks. Uh, uh, do you guys have uh, uh, anything coming up that you want to let everybody know about? Uh, no. <laughs> All right, get the fuck off the I'm stage. Gonna, I'm going <laughs> to learn that song. I'm going to go work, learn that song, and then I'll be back having had learned it. One more on the harmonica. There we go. Everybody, Jumbo the Boston Boston. I know everybody's a critic. <laughs> But it seems to me he could have plugged his Patreon. Uh, uh, all right. It, I know I don't have to, but yes. I'm going to do Vincent Price. And, and so <laughs> it'll just be John Malkovich. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. So, so we, yeah. ju we just heard a spooky yeah. Michael Jackson song. Uh, Br Brian, I, uh, <laughs> I think that we should end the show. This is the end of the show. Uh, ghouls and goblins, <laughs> werewolves delight. A 30-pound bobcat takes a lot of fries. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, let's end the show. <laughs> no, you still have to do Malkovich. Uh, oh, uh, I'm doing, okay. I'm doing oh, okay. Vincent okay. Price right. in solidarity. Sorry. Okay, here we go. Here we go. <clears throat> I mean, I'm doing Vincent Price in solidarity. All right, listen up, people. It doesn't get any better looking at a train wreck. Let's end it. <laughs> Brett, what have we learned today? Well, Mr. Potter, <laughs> what we've learned is that sometimes Brian can be a true piece of crap. Sometimes Justin 
is too scared to try to do impressions. <laughs> We've learned that Bryce wants to play along eventually. Sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> and we've all learned that it's a beautiful time to be in in this world because I almost said the wrong thing. <laughs> Thank you. Still a great night, people. We love you guys. Uh, shine shine, on, you crazy shine on, you crazy diamond. <laughs> yes. Oh. yes. Yes. Excellent. It's me, Starscream. <laughs> and Cooper Commander. <laughs> We're playing Rocket Ball. <laughs> ah. No John Malkovich played that. I hate Megatron, too. Oh, you should see Destro. He always takes a shit with the door open. <laughs> One million dollars. <laughs> I heard Baroness is fucking Bumblebee. Wow. Oh, that's the line. That's the line. Diamond Club hopes you have enjoyed this program. <laughs> <laughs>